In 2022, there are 13 island countries in the Caribbean. Cuba, the Bahamas, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, Grenada, and Trinidad and Tobago. But 60 years ago, there were only five Caribbean island nations, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Bahamas, and the West Indies Federation. Today, I will explain the rise and fall of the West Indies Federation. The West Indies Federation was created by the United Kingdom in 1958. The intent behind its creation was to unify all the Caribbean possessions under one government and then give the newly created federation independence as to satisfy demands for independence from many territories in the region. The provinces of this federation were Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, the Cayman Islands, Dominica, Grenada, Jamaica, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Anguilla, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Turks and Caicos. Patrick George Thomas was given the title of Governor General of the Federation, representing the West Indies Federation for its entire five-year existence. The first problem the Young Federation had to face was a big one, where to place its capital city. A little bit of background. The West Indies Federation had a population of 3,264,000. Jamaica would make up 50% of the total population. Trinidad and Tobago would make up 27%, and Barbados would make up 7%. The other 10 provinces would make up the final 16% of the population. Keep these percentages in mind, as it will become prevalent in a minute. Back to the capital situation. Three locations would be put forth for the capital city. Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, or neither. Jamaica argued that since they make up half of the total population, the capital should obviously be in Kingston. Trinidad and Tobago would claim that the capital should be in Port of Spain, since having the capital in Jamaica would give the Jamaicans too much power over the other provinces, proposing that Port of Spain is a more politically fair location as well as being just as supported by the rich economy of Trinidad and Tobago. Although the opinion of the smaller islands would be that the capital should be located on one of them, arguing that it, it should be in a neutral position to the larger territories and as well would be able to inject some buoyancy into one of the poorer economies. So the consensus for the smaller provinces would be to have the capital in the city of St. George's on the island of Granada. This debate would not be solved anytime soon, so in the meantime the British decided to make the capital Ch Chaguarmas in Trinidad. The struggle over the location of the capital city would not be the only issue the Federation would have to face. Over the coming years, the nation would be plagued by struggles between the two largest provinces, Jamaica and Trinidad, as well as the smaller islands. The federal structure of the Federation acted similar to how the Articles of Confederation did in the United States. Each province of the Federation would have their own separate economy due to a lack of a customs union bringing the economies of all the provinces together. You see, the smaller islands were worried of having themselves overwhelmed by the economies of larger provinces. Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago also did not want to have to burden themselves to support the small economies of islands that were very distant from themselves. Additionally, complete freedom of movement within the federation was not implemented, as the larger provinces were worried about mass migration from the smaller islands. The largest issue the federation would have to face is that it could not economically support itself, with it primarily relying on British funding to function. In 1962, after just five years, the dissolution of the West Indies Federation would be made official, due to all of the aforementioned political and economic issues it was facing. Nine nations would gain independence from the Federation, adding to the number of Caribbean island countries making the new total 13 creating the political geography we now have today in the Caribbean. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and let me know if you have any other ideas for future videos in the comment section. Thank you.